Hello everyone, welcome back to Rockwell Automation Series. Today I will start the topic device control with control valve. How do we control a control valve? With the PUC Control Logic 1756L83E. In this video, I will show you step by step from creating a new user defined data type. Logic instruction of members in new user defined data type and programming for controlling. Why we need to create a new user defined data type? Because in our process, there are many control valves. If we don't create a new user defined data type, we will take a lot of time to create the text for control valve. X, X control valve, we need around 20 to uh, 25 properties. So if we create a new user defined data type, we will create text for control valves very fast. 10 valves, maybe around 10 minutes. Okay, we start. After creating a, a new project, we come to the data type. Right click on the user defined folder and create a new data type. And name it a control valve. Description I put a user defined data type. Data type for control valve. Basically, controlling the methodology, we have two signals or two data. First, a control value. That's the command from PUC request control valve to open or close. Second, a feedback value or process value. That's the feedback value of on-site control valve. That will help the PUC know the control valve on site is following its command or not. If no, for alarm or interlock will happen. We need to understand what's the difference between control, control valve and single acting valve or two way valves. That's the control value and process value range. The single acting valve is just on 100% and off 0%. But the control valve can open or close in the range from 0 to 100%. Can open 25, 50, 75 or any value in that range. From that difference, we need to create the text for control value and process value e analog data type and should be real and also the range means max for scaling these values same as analog input okay first for control valve we create the cv row CV Roman CV Romax for raw value to analog output motors. 
and create the CV EU. CV EU Ming and CU EU Max. For control value before scaling to raw value. EU here mean engineering unit. The data type of these tags are real. Next, for process value or feedback value, we create a BV row, BV row min, BV row max. For row value from analog input motors. And create a BVEU, BVEU min, and BVEU max for control value after scaling from raw value. Data type of these tags also real. Next, two tags define the control value open and close. I name their feedback open and feedback close. And data type pullen. Boo. Next is about four signal. I name is a four alarm with a data type pool boolean. Next four timer. That's the timer we count from control valve receive the program command. If in the preset time, the control valve on site do not move following the command. The four alarm will set, will be set, and alarm on scatter or SMI. That text I name is four timer, and data type timer. And next, ONS text that that text will you for one sock data type double integer the in okay click on apply then okay. That's done for new user defined data type for control valve. Now I will create array text for control valve. Use this new data type. Why? 
I create a red tag because uh, we will have many control valves in the line and we will have one logic instruction for all control valves. We will use the four instruction to scan every control valve instead of create X logic for X control valve. I will explain more in this video. We come to controller tax. And create the tax control valve. With the data type e control valve. And uh, array will have 25 members. And now I will create a text for specific control valve use this new data type. We come to controller text and create a text name CV1225. Uh, the data type we select control valve. And uh, alias for control valve one. Okay, we expand the tag name, and we can see all the member or properties of this control valve here. Now I will create a new program for control valve. I create a new text, a new task, a basic control. In basic control task, we create a new program, control valve. Firstly, I will create a new uh, routine for reading raw analog input from analog input modules in con in program control valve we create a new routine name control valve analog input row Type ladder diagram. In program, we select control valve and assign e none. Okay. We come to the routine control valve analog input row. Use a move instruction. For the sook, 
we input the the text connect to analog input modules. And for the desk, we input the text cv one three two five dot pv row. For the sook here, I not yet create the the text from the analog input motor. Okay, I will create. I will. For the sook, I we input the text connect to analog input modules. NAC V one three two five. Okay, that's for BV row. Now we need to scale it. Right click on program control valve and create a new routine. I put the name is control valve analog input scaling. function block diagram in program of control valve and assignment in none okay we open this routine and use the scale instruction right click and add element set the keyword SCL and select scale at beginning the SCL element just have one in and one out we come to properties and enable some more input in row max in row means in EU max in EU means then apply Connect to in either row value CV one two one three two five BV row. We can change the description here. This is signal from transmitter transfer to analog input motors. That number is convert from ampere signal 4 to 20 milliampere. That's set in, in the transmitter. For in row max and in row min, 
that's it the range from min to max of value on the on the analog input motor we assign tag uh, we assign tag uh, cv one two one three two five bv raw min into in raw min and cv one three two five bv raw max into in raw max We assign tag, uh, tag first, then I will explain the value for this tag later. And about the in EU min and in EU max, we assign two tags. BV EU min and BV EU max and the output. We assign tax CV one three two five boy PV PV EU. Okay, that's done for analog input scaling. Next, we do the same for read and scale analog output row. Of course, the condition for the output of control valve we will program later. We create the routine name. Control valve analog output row. Type ladder diagram in program of control valve assignment none. Okay, we use a move instruction. For the soak, we input the text. CV one two five talk CV draw and for the date we input the tag link directly to the channel of analog output motor
X A C V yes now we need to unscale from CV 1 2 CV A U E U to CV 1 3 2 5 dot CV row right click on program control valve and create a new routine you put the name we control valve analog output unscaling type function block diagram in program control valve assignment is none okay we open this routine and use scale instruction we come to property and enable some more input in Romax, in Roaming, in EU Max, and in EU Mint. Then apply. Connect to in e raw value, raw value CV one three two five CV EU. We assign tax CV one three two five talk CV EU Ming into Indo Ming and CV EU max into in row max we assign tag first then I will explain the value for this tag later and about the in EU min and in EU max we assign Two text CV one three two five BV roaming CV roaming and CV one three two five BV CV Romax. And the output we assign the text CV one three two five doc CV row okay that's done for analog output and scaling. So we have the analog feedback and analog output already. Now we will program to define when the control valve open and close, or when we define the control valve e open and close based on the feedback value. We create a new routine name control valve.
with the tie ladder diagram. Firstly, we need to create a tag name control valve local in program control valve with the data type e control valve. Why we need this tag? Because uh, this tag will be the variable tag. This means this tag you for common logic instruction of control valve. And when we want to use logic for specific control valve, for example, CV control valve 1325, one, then the tag name control valve will be replaced by CV1325. If we don't have this tag, we need to copy the logic instruction for each control valve. For example, we have 20 control valves, then we will copy the logic and replace the tag name in logic for 20 valves. Okay, we create the logic for feedback open and feedback close. We define control valve will be open when the analog feedback is 100% and will be closed when the analog feedback is 0%. You can modify this value depend on your configuration. For example, you can define feedback open when control valve open to 80% and feedback closed when control valve closed to 20%. Create a new run. Use the EQU instruction. So A, we input the control valve CVEU. So B, we input 100. This equal condition will lead to an OTE. And we assign tax control value, control valve, feedback open. Create a second run. We also use the echo instruction. So A we input control value CVAU and so B we input zero. This echo condition will lead to an OT and we assign text control valve feedback closed. Next, I will create the logic for phone alarm. We 
when will the control valve be full? We have two reasons. First reason is when control valve is requested by to open from BLC. But after the phone timer time, the control valve on site not open. The second reason is when control valve is requested to close from BLC. But after the phone timer time, the control valve on site not close. Okay, we create a new run. I will use uh, NEQ, not equal instruction. And compare the control value, control valve. Full timer. Preset with zero. What does it mean? Some control valve we don't set the full time. Those valves is not important, and we don't need to monitor the fall. So we compare and we just care any valves have the full time. Next, I use an EQU. Instruction to compare the control valve CVEU. to 100% to determine the condition if valve is open next is one source I select the control valve one sort want that's the condition to see the command from BUC to control the control valve open. And next, we put the actual feedback from on site control valve with uh, XIO. And the tech control valve. Feedback open. Next, the full timer. I use a timer on. And let the preset. And let preset and accumulate time as zero. When the logic is used for specific control valve, this timer will take the preset time from that control valve. Next, we add a new brand after any queue instruction. Use a uh, EQU instruction. To compare the, the control valve CV EU to zero percent to determine to determine the condition if valve is 
the a glove next is one shot i select the control valve one shot number two next we put the active feedback from on side control valve with a uh, xio and the tech control valve feedback close and we connect this brand to the fault hammer also next the condition for phone alarm bit after NEQ instruction we insert a new brand Uh, we create a new 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 run and XIC put the tax control valve fault hammer dock DN is been done and lead to OTE. With the tag control valve for alarm. Okay, that's the logic of control valve.